I'm sure UCLA must have raised money from 1925, right? You go down to UCLA in the late 90s and you know you walk through the buildings almost little sprinklers have got somebody's name on them, right? So they got ahead of it. I mean I can't imagine why Berkeley didn't do it. Well Berkeley had special kinds of favored sponsorships. So for example when Seaborg asked for your 88 inch cyclotron, he never asked for it in fact. Um, he went to, uh, he was invited to speak before a, a Senate subcommittee, and they said, Dr. Seaborg, is there anything the University of California needs? And he said, well, as a matter of fact, yes. And that was kind of the climate in the 1950s. Fast forward 20 years, and it's, it's uh, inflation and uh, stagflation and a whole different um, socioeconomic climate. Yeah, so we got that, but you know, there was LBL, but I mean, we, we weren't raising any money for everything we do now, right? I mean, even we needed to do that to build new buildings. I mean, when you look at this place, we were, we were stagnating, we, you know, and we were stagnating in the 70s and trying to survive all the trouble of the 60s and the early 70s. And then by the time Heyman got us geared up and some lucky things happened, we've had a building boom since the, Early 1980s, it's been unbelievable, it has been nonstop.